the better boxers in this division certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost pitch perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy because you've spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstars. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like folding a slice of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> for this one. All right, round one is underway. Here is the outstanding striker, the conditioned Du Ho Choi. The majority of his pro wins have come by knockout. They have come in round one. We'll see how it goes for Du Ho Choi here tonight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by so they are in the clinch here early. Could make for a suffocating and long fight tonight. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Choi gets hit with yet another flush left to the head. He's got to figure out a way to get those hands up and shore things up defensively here. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Joy gets caught by that straight hand. Nice body shot there. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. The season coming, you're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Nice pass. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Ahmedov's got the full mount. Across the midpoint here in our opening round. Get that man, <laughs> Landing strikes nicely here from top position. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Back mount now. That was a slick transition. And I was right back to the full mount here. Just over two minutes now to go. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Akhmedov. 
Another ground and pound strike lands. Choice in half court. Big ground and pound. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Another ground and pound strike lands. Half guard now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. Woo! <laughs> 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh. 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 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Effective jab there by Choi. Devastated body keep land. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Huh. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's All right, it. second round underway. Here we go with the next round. We'll see if he can pick up where he left off. No reason really to change anything when he threw more often than not he was landing. He was landing over and over again, and that is just a testament of the accuracy, of the striking acumen of this fighter. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Trying to get the knees going. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the ball. He's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. That he win. Great job. Big right hand. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here today. Oh! He's hurt bad. His misses are entertaining. Joy gets hit with that hook shot there. He's got to be careful to not allow the offense to follow up here. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Shore. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there. Oh, oh. Again. Straight hand lands flush to the body by the Korean Super Bowl. He does a phenomenal job of actually attacking the takedowns off of his punches. Akhmedov's in half guard now. Oh, right into Mount. Setting up 
the sub here. Now he's in trouble. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Good work from the top here by Choi. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Nice transition. He's got to find a way back to his feet. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, another strike lands from the top. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Choi's in half guard. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Choi's back into full guard. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Akhmedov's right back to the full mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. The hard ground upon is paying dividends. He has opened up a cut. One minute to go in round two. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Alright, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd. No I, love, I love all the oh, picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh! Big right hand there! Oh, huge left! In the can. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cotton will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, replay truck has been kept busy tonight as we get you some clips from that previous round, and maybe we can even isolate the strike that opened his cheek up. I mean, a cut on your cheek while it's in a better spot it is still so hard to deal with. Every time that gets hit, it hurts so bad. He's going to have to move his head here. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Fast jab lands it. Do a beautiful kick by him there. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And then he goes over here. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Nice takedown. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Choi's taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. 
You got to move your head. Be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Another take up land. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Ahmedov's in half goal. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to happen. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very even. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of both types of strikes. And just misses with that big right hand. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. Oh, nice work to get the take down there. Good entry by Ahmed. Five seconds remain in the round. Akhmedov's in half goal. Getting the ball here. That was nice. Oh man, what a strike from the bottom. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. And it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, a, is a fantastic fighter, and he's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it very clear right now. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Stop. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut <laughs> on his cheek. Ready I'm just saying. He's got a big Ready. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmaker did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. So bad. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Choi's eye appears to be closing up by the second. That's one of those shots that 
if you take one of them, if you, in the night, that one landed right on the spot. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. The fighters separate. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Akhmedov's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Beautiful defense. Nice ball. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Troy's able to protect the eye there with that block. So that is a nice adjustment that the fighter made there to raise the guard and prevent further damage on that cut. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. Oh, oh got to keep pressing here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his home. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna... I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Really smart approach by the offensive fighter, badgering that cut. More blood by the minute. If head movement was oh, he has to evade stance space. Akhmedov's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. Oh, heard bad. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh man, is he on wobbly legs. It's been a crazy fight. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with the two. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that opportunity. Yeah, you don't play with him. No. Strike gets through. This could be over soon. Oh my goodness, I think he might have it. Working very hard to get this arm bars. Close to the finish, he's got to extend the arm to get him to tap. Back and forth. Oh, belly down now. Oh, he's out. Notice how his opponent circled back off of his right. Back to towards the side that his opponent was on. Got his hips all the way across to release the pressure off of his arm. Beautiful submission defense. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Oh! The Korean Superboy does it again! We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 37 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. 
So the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy to think this guy is just getting started. Maybe